Good morning. Uh, this morning I just want to talk to you about unmet expectations. I don't know if you've ever had a time where you were expecting something to happen, maybe expecting to get a job, expecting to have that family uh, situation resolved. Whatever it is, sometimes we can have unmet expectations. And a question is, how do you deal with unmet expectations? I don't know about you, but sometimes when my expectations haven't been met, often I can start to get stuck in a cycle of thinking about what should have happened. I should have had that promotion. I should have been noticed. I should have uh, been in church. And I think the real danger of unmet expectations is often we can feel so frustrated that we want to quit. When things don't go as planned, we feel frustrated and we want to quit. And I wonder how many of us have expected to be in this pandemic in 2020 or expected to be in lockdown for so long. Luke chapter 5 tells us of Peter who is on the shore. Uh, he has given up. He's frustrated at his unmet expectations. And in his place of unmet expectations, in the place of where he's just about to give up, Jesus gets into his boat. And Jesus calls him into something deeper. And when I look in the Bible, often in the places on the edge of our greatest frustration and on the edge of just when we're about to give up, Jesus gets into our boat and calls us into something deeper. So I wanna encourage you, maybe 2020 hasn't gone as planned, maybe 2020 for the situations in your life haven't gone exactly as you thought, but what if God is using our season of frustration, our season of unmet expectations, he wants to partner with us and call us into something deeper.